Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for 6th graders. Our concept is comparing and ordering rational numbers. This is part 3. Remember 6th graders, the time to be awesome is now. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one or group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, you can click the link in the description box to sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. We have our sixth grade star math review workbook available for purchase in our store. The link is in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and smash the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also to spread the word about hype math and reading. We greatly appreciate your support. So let's talk about comparing and ordering fractions with unlike denominators. When comparing and ordering fractions with unlike denominators, you must find a common denominator. To find the common denominator, we need to find the least common multiple or the LCM, which is the smallest multiple the denominator share. Here are the steps to finding the LCM or the LCD least common denominator. Step 1, write the multiples of each denominator. Step 2, find the LCM or the smallest multiple between the numbers. Step 3, write equivalent fract fractions with the LCM. Step 4, compare or order fractions based on the directions. So let's look at an example. We are looking at or trying to discover which fraction is greater, one third or one fourth, and we are going to follow our instructions. Step one, we need to write the multiples of each denominator. So the multiples of three are three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and so on. The multiples of four are four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24 and so on. Step two, we need to find the LCM or the smallest multiple between the numbers. As you can see, between three and four, they share actually two multiples in our example. There are uh, many more, but we're looking at 12 and 24. We want to find the smallest multiple and that is 12. So our least common multiple is equal to 12. Now for step three, we need to write equivalent fractions using the LCM. In order to do that, let's start with one third. Since we know our least common denominator and least common multiple are the same thing, our least common denominator is 12. What I need to ask myself is, what number multiplied by three is equal to 12? And whatever number that is, I need to multiply the numerator and the, and the denominator by that number. Three times four is equal to 12, so I am going to multiply my numerator and my denominator by 12. Let's multiply our numerators. One times four is equal to four, and three times four is equal to 12. Now let's look at one fourth. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We need to discover what number multiplied by four is equal to 12, and we need to multiply it in our numerator and our denominator. Multiply, and that number is three. So multiplying my numerators, one times three is equal to three, four times three is equal to 12. So now my equivalent fractions are for one third, it's gonna be equal to four twelfths, and for one fourth, it is equal to three twelfths. Step four, we need to compare and order our fractions based on the, on the directions. And so since we're looking for the fraction that is greater, we know that four 
twelfths is greater than three twelfths. And that is it. Now let's dive into our problem. And again, you can purchase our workbook on our in our store so that you can follow along. Number 11 says, the table shows the amount of time four students practice the trumpet one day. Which list shows the names of the students in order from the least amount of practice time to the greatest amount of practice time? Ryan, A, Ryan, Jacob, Cole, Gus, B, Cole, Jacob, Gus, Ryan, C, Ryan, Gus, Jacob, Cole, or D, Gus, Ryan, Cole, Jacob. So let's look at our table. We see on the left-hand side, it is the names of the students, and on the right-hand side, it's the time in hours that they practiced. For Cole, it is one and two thirds. Gus, one and a half. Ryan, one and one fourth. Jacob, one and seven twelfths. So in order to solve this problem, the first thing we need to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? We are looking for the list that shows the names of the students in order from the least to greatest amount of practice time. Now that we know what we're looking for, the next thing we need to discover is what information can help us find the answer? Well, the information that can help us find the answer is the times that the students practice. Again, for Cole, that is one and two thirds, Gus, one and one half, Ryan, one and one fourth, Jacob, one and seven twelfths. How do we solve the problem? We're going to use the steps like we did in our examples in order to solve this problem. Step one, we need to find the LCM of the denominators 3, 2, 4, and 12. Step two, write the equivalent fractions with the LCM or LCD. Step three, order the fractions from least to greatest. So let's look at step one. We need to find the LCM of the denominators 3, 2, 4, and 12. And here they are. For 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and so on. So to find the multiples, all you do is say, okay, 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12, and so on. And you do, that is the multiples of numbers. It's basically what, when you multiply that number by any other numbers, what answer do you come up with, okay? So for 2, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and so on. For 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. For 12, we have 12, 24, 36, 48, and so on. So in looking at our numbers, we see that we have the 12 highlighted, and that is the common number between all four of the numbers. So now that we know that our least common multiple is equal to 12, next what we need to do is find the equivalent fractions using our LCM or our LCD, okay? So let's start with Cole. Cole is one and two thirds. So what I need to do in order to find my equivalent fraction is ask myself, what number times three is equal to 12? and that is four. So I'm going to multiply my denominator and numerator by four. Our whole number stays the same. We do not include that in our multiplication since all of the students has a whole number of one, okay? We're just gonna focus on the fractions. So multiplying across, two times four is equal to eight. Three times four is equal to 12. So now our equivalent fraction using our LCD for Cole is one and eight twelfths. Now let's go to Gus. Gus is one and one half. 
I'm going to ask myself, what number times two is equal to 12? And that is six. So I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by six. Multiplying my numerators across, one times six is equal to six, two times six is equal to 12. So our equivalent fraction for Gus is one and six twelfths. Now let's move to Ryan. Ryan's fraction is one and one fourth. We need to again ask ourselves, what number multiplied by four is equal to 12? And that is three. So I'm going to multiply my numerator and my denominator by what? Yes, three. So let's multiply our numerators going across. One times three is equal to three, and four times three is equal to 12. So now my equivalent fraction for Ryan is one and three twelfths. Let's move on to Jacob. Jacob's fraction is one and seven twelfths. So Jacob already has a denominator of 12. We can multiply by one if we would like. And the only reason that I did it is just so you wouldn't be confused. But because we already know Jacob has a, a denominator of 12, we can multiply the uh, numerator and denominator by one, or we can just leave it as one and seven twelfths. Because again, Jacob already has the least common denominator of 12. Now that we have all of our equivalent fractions, what we're going to do is order our fractions from least to greatest. So that means we're going to look and start from the smallest numerator and move all the way through to the largest denominator. Okay, that is least to greatest. So first, it's going to be Ryan with one and three twelfths, then Gus with one and six twelfths. Jacob with one and seven twelfths and Cole with one and eight twelfths. That is our list ordered from least to greatest. So what is our correct answer? What we need to do is look through our answer choices to discover which one has the same list as what we do. Is it A, Ryan, Jacob, Cole, Gus, B, Cole, Jacob, Gus, Ryan, C, Ryan, Gus, Jacob, Cole, or D, Gus, Ryan, Cole, Jacob. Do you see the right answer? I do too. It is C. C is the correct answer, ordering the students' names from least to greatest. And that is it for our review of comparing and ordering rational numbers part three. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and smash that like button. Also, if you are in need of a tutor, you can click the link on the description box, parents, to sign up for a free 30-minute consultation, and we have our sixth grade math review workbook available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. I will talk to you later.